There are mages here who can heal your wounds. Lie still. Don't... Don't touch me, Mother. Their magic is... Turn to noble purpose. Their magic is surely no more evil than your blade. What? Hush, dear boy. Allow them to ease your suffering. Mother Giselle. I am. And you must be the one they are calling the Herald of Andraste. Not through any choice of mine. <laughs> we seldom have much say in our fate, I'm sad to say. So you agree with them? I don't presume to know the Maker's intentions, for any of us. But I did not ask you to come simply to debate with me. Then why am I here? I know of the Chantry's denouncement, and I am familiar with those behind it. I won't lie to you. Some of them are grandstanding, hoping to increase their chances of becoming the new divine. Some are simply terrified. So many good people, senselessly taken from us. What happened was horrible. Fear makes us desperate, but hopefully not beyond reason. Go to them. Convince the remaining clerics you are no demon to be feared. They have heard only frightful tales of you. Give them something else to believe. You want me to appeal to them? If I thought you were incapable, I wouldn't suggest it. Will they even listen? Let me put it this way. You needn't convince them all. You just need some of them to doubt. Their power is the unified voice. Take that from them and you receive the time you need. It's good of you to do this. I honestly don't know if you've been touched by fate, or sent to help us, but I hope. Hope is what we need now. The people will listen to your rallying call, as they will listen to no other. You could build the Inquisition into a force that will deliver us, or destroy us. I will go to Haven and provide Sister Leliana the names of those in the Chantry who will be amenable to a gathering. It is not much, but I will do whatever I can.